we're back with WSJ Lunch Break. I'm Wendy Bounds. When picking the perfect champagne, it can help to know two letters. That is N and V. What do they mean? Letty Teague's right here giggling beside me. What have you been doing? NV. NV. I like that. You're, 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 I, I, I know why you're laughing. I'm not going to tell anybody. <laughs> and All I, right. I'm totally sober. I'm sorry to say. Oh, I'm so sorry, but you can fix that with this. I will. NV, non vintage. Why should people care about a champagne that's no. non vintage? Um, well, they should care about it uh, for a number of reasons. It's certainly it's, it's the kind of champagne you're going to see the most often because of, of any champagne house, it's it's far and away the, uh, the largest percentage of the production. Um, it's the most affordable. And. Um, most importantly, though, it's the most characteristic of the house's style, and, mm. and um, which is to say, you know, it's a because it's non-vintage or multi-vintage, which some uh, houses like to, prefer to call it. It's a, it's a blend, and and it's a consistent blend year to year. So so it's basically once you've you've discovered the house and the style that you love, you can anticipate that it's going to be the same year after year after year. And you've and we been love you, consistency. And, and you've been know. tasting some of these, all of them under a hundred dollars. Uh, you've brought two of them here to uh, at pour us, pour us, I will, pour us I'm sorry, and tell us about this. Okay. Tell us about them okay. as you do. Okay, so this, um, the first one is a, a small house um, called Bollinger, and uh, you may know it from the James Bond uh, movies, a.k.a. Bali. Um, Bali, thank and, you. And uh, this is actually uh, one of my favorite styles. It's a very, uh, um, a very rich, um, very big, well, you know, why don't we taste and then I'll, I'll tell you. You can tell me what you find. What am I supposed to be looking for? Mm. This is what people always wonder when they drink champagne. What do they look for? Well, you think about the, the, the mouthfeel, you know, what's right. the texture, and this, I think, in, in, the, in the case of Bollinger, it's, it's, a very, it's very luxurious, it's very rich, it's very mm. almost biscuity. Um, and uh, um, it's a very particular style. I mean, if you've once you've tasted Bollinger, you're never going to forget that. You know, and just the length of it. You know, it seems like it goes on and on. In a way, it's more like a wine than a champagne. You know, because it has that. It's 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 substantial. And, How many different amazing. grapes are in this? Because I know this is part of the making of these these, right, these champagnes. Right. And champagne is all about blending. Right. Um, in this case, this is predominantly predominantly Pinot Noir. Okay. Um, but there are also the other two recognized grapes or, or most commonly utilized grapes are Chardonnay and Pinot Meunier, and and that's also in in this. But this is this is very much a, a, a Pinot Noir dominated. All right, champagne. this one's feeling lonely. Let's it give it is, a little love is. over here. Tell okay. us about it. Um, this is a J La Salle. It's a um, rosé, a Premier Cru, and that means that uh, the grapes that were grown in the uh, uh, unlike unlike. Uh, um, let me interrupt myself. Um, <laughs> the, the grapes, uh, uh, the vineyards, are not what's uh, what's rated in Champagne, it's the village. Yeah. So this particular village, the Chigny Les Roses, um, is actually a premier cru um, uh, a village. And this, I just think, mm. I, I chose that this one's particular, good. isn't it? It's, 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 it's very really fru it's fruity and a lovely and light. aroma. Mm. Let me ask you this: People, when mm. they are looking for pricing on these non-vintage champagnes, mm -hmm. Letty, I mean, these are under hundred dollars. Really, what's the well under. well under? What's the sort of what's the lowest you can go and still get something decent? That you, you know, think? I think if you shop around, you can find um, something in the low thirties. These, I, I have to say, are on the I, I consider on the higher end of non-vintage. The Bollinger I bought for forty-eight. The, the J La Salle for fifty. So they're definitely on the the upper range, but I think they're they're both just really beautiful expressions of, of what a non-vintage champagne can be. Um, I also I, I brought a little ditty. I don't know if there's time to, Is this a to song? read it. It's actually Lily Bollinger's. Do we singing. have time? Do we have time Harlan, for this? Tell me. We have time. He says read, <laughs> okay, but read quickly. Okay. I drink it when I'm happy. I drink it when I'm sad. Sometimes I drink it when I'm alone. When I have company, it's obligatory. I trifle with it if I'm not hungry, and I drink it when I am. Otherwise, I never touch it unless I'm thirsty. Nice. Come on, let's have some applause in the background there. You can hear it. Thank you. Lily All right. Bollinger.